All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we do have some breaking Jets news that just came out. Uh, and by the way, sorry about the lighting. I'm actually in a parking garage right now. Uh, but look, according to Tony Pauline, the Jets are going to be meeting with Kayvon Thibodeau throughout the course of the day. And then tonight, Thibodeau is going to be meeting with the Baltimore Ravens. And of course, as we all know, Thibodeau's pro day was today, right? The Oregon pro day was going on. Awesome stuff there. Jeff Ulbrich attended. And uh, coincidentally, I actually just uploaded a video uh, maybe an hour ago, hour and a half ago here about Kayvon Thibodeau's rumored drop in the NFL. You know, like his stock is falling. Matt Miller of ESPN reported um, early this morning, you know, just numerous things. Uh, talking about a injury to his ankle that he sustained back in September. Supposedly, he hasn't interviewed well with teams. I believe the uh, the exact terminology was poor, right? That, that was the that was the word that kept getting thrown around with Thibodeau's interviews. And then the production, for whatever reason, was listed, but I, I just can't buy into that. And look, I'm under the mindset. I mean, I really, for me personally, I love Kayvon Thibodeau. And I'm not, you know, uh, an Oregon fan or anything like that. By no means am I just, you know, saying that because I love the Ducks or anything like that. But no, I love Kayvon Thibodeau. I think he's a great prospect. He brings versatility. He brings explosiveness. He brings upside. He comes in at a massive position of need, which just so happens to be the most important position on this Jets defense. Yes, we have Carl Lawson coming back. Yes, I love the acquisition of Jacob Martin. But I, I just feel like, I feel like Thibodeau, he just brings that, that extra level, you know, and by the way, I love Carl Lawson. I really, really do. I'm totally excited to see what he's going to do this, uh, you know, this upcoming season, but he is coming off of a season ending injury. Will he get hurt again? Will he look like the same player? Will he, will he lose a step? You know, as much as I hate to ask those questions, I kind of have to, because I feel like it would be irresponsible to not ask those questions. It would be, you know, somewhat, uh, yeah, again, irresponsible to, to just assume Carl Lawson is going to be the exact same player, right? Just assume that right out of the gate. So I think Kayvon Thibodeau to the New York Jets at spot number four is, I, I, I truly feel like that is, that very well could happen on draft night. Again, I know Matt Miller is talking about, you know, Kayvon Thibodeau could fall out of the top 10, but this is the perfect time for smoke, right? Smoke screens, draft smoke, all that kind of stuff. If he is on the board at spot number four, I mean, the Jets have met with him before. It went well. Um, I think he's going to be the pick. Unless some off, you know, unless maybe all three, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like Ike McQuanu, Evan Neal, unless Joe Douglas absolutely falls in love with an offensive lineman and he wants to go that direction or the organization is 1000% comfortable taking Ahmad Gardner and they feel like he could be a top three quarterback in the league relatively soon, not necessarily his rookie season, but in years two, year three. But that's really the only, or, you know, we get blo we just get blown away by some sort of, uh, you know, team wanting to move up for a quarterback. But outside of that, I mean, I, I could really feel, I, I really feel like Kayvon's going to be the pick at four. And then, you know, the Giants are sitting there at five. The Giants are sitting there at seven. I don't feel like Carolina is going to be in play at six. I could see the Falcons taking a swing at spot number eight. I feel like you'd be a solid uh, system fit for that defense. Uh, and then Seattle, maybe tough call. I really don't know what Seattle's going to be doing, uh, but I, I, I wouldn't rule them out. I, I wouldn't just say, oh, no, they're 100% not in on the Thibodeau, you know, not in on the uh, the Thibodeau train. And then, of course, the Jets at spot number 10. So I, I think if the Jets want him, we got to get him at four. If the Jets have identified Thibodeau as the player that they want to build around, you got to take him at four. Because is he really going to be getting past the Giants twice, the Falcons, and on top of that, the Seahawks. And we didn't even talk about somebody trading up, right? Maybe a team uh, that's hanging out in the late, uh, in the in the late teens, in the early twenties, maybe late twenties, that would love a Kayvon Thibodeau. And now you're trading up to maybe wherever, like, like in front of the Jets at spot number ten. It's just it, again, is it likely? No, um, but at this point, we've seen crazy, crazy things happen this off season anything could happen. So the Jets will be meeting with Kayvon Thibodeau today. Super, super exciting stuff, although a little bit obvious. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, sorry about the lighting. And as always, go Jets.